at the Al Ghurair Printing Company headquarters in Dubai. It is the final touches for the presidential ballot papers, with the first batch set to be shipped to Kenya beginning Monday. The first batch of the ballot papers will leave the printing company at 5 p.m. Saturday to Dubai International Airport before eventually finding their way to Kenya on Monday with the second consignment arriving on Tuesday. The company has printed about 124 million ballot papers, 20,818,000 of the total being that of the presidential election. But even as the over one month long assignment was coming to a close, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission was forced to come clean following questions over the 1% extra ballot papers that were printed, with the opposition claiming that some presidential ballot papers are already in Nairobi. In one prison that we have, you have 10 voters in that place. For packaging purposes, all of them are at 50. So if you are going to have uh, the ballots printed for that polling station, it means that instead of uh, having 10 plus the 1%, you're going to have 50 uh, uh, pallets or uh, packages in, in one, in one uh, package. So that means that uh, when you put the overall numbers together and you add the 1%, it actually goes beyond 1% more ballot papers, the presidential ballot papers. You're talking about 1.2 million ballot papers or so, which is about 6%. Uh, in total, more ballot papers than you actually need for the, for the election. The electoral body clarifying that no ballot paper for the presidential election has left to buy with the faulty ballot papers having been destroyed. Uh, we are actually in the factory and we can actually see all of them uh, in the pallet. Uh, none of them have been dispatched. They will be dispatched tomorrow evening. Uh, and the second uh, chopper will also come with the remaining batch of the presidential candidates because there are three choppers that will be taking the, the, the pallets to Nairobi. Uh, two are for the presidential candidates and there's also a remaining one for the MCA that will also be dispatched. So there is nothing like that. There, uh, there's, there is no ballot paper that has left uh, Al Gurai uh, as far as we are concerned. Susan Mongera of the Youth Agenda warning the political class and their representatives that they risk legal action for spreading false information. And who is spreading that rumor uh, that there are ballot papers in Nairobi, uh, I think it's a high time that uh, some action is taken against them. A position that was supported by various stakeholders were at the printing company to monitor the process. I don't think presidential ballot papers are in Nairobi. Presidential ballot papers are here and you can see from uh, the packed pallets and they will be dispatched after we have finalized what brought us here. Figures had to be rounded up and we followed up. We have the serialization and every number that will be published because the IABC said they will share this information with the public has actually been verified by us here today. UDF Secretary General Bernard Wafuko and Mathiora Carriera, the running mate to presidential candidate Dr. Japheth Kaluyu, saying that they have been impressed by the process.